Okay, so hi everyone, we're from group 7 and we're going to talk about the critical literature review. Uh, first, my name is Rena Tania with Was 3 Digit of NPM is 09 and I'm with my friend Tiara Rizky Cahya with Was 3 Digit of NPM is 140. Next slide. Okay, so the first one is literature review. So a literature review is the selections of available documents on the topic which contain information, ideas, data, and evidence written from a particular standpoint to fulfill certain aims to or express certain views of the nature of the topic and how it is to be investigated. And the effective evaluation of these documents is relation to the research being proposed. The literature review should be an informative, subjective, yet objective summary of the material offering a balanced perspective that incorporates contradictory and constructed results as well as established and contemporary thinking rather than an exhaustive list of everything that has been published. So the next one is how to approach literature of review. The first one is data sources. The second one is searching for the literature itself, and the third one is evaluating the literature and for documenting the literature review. So this is the data sources. The first one is textbook. The second one is journal, cases, conference proceedings, unpublished, unpublished manuscripts, reports, newspaper, and the last one is internet. And this is how to search for literature. The first one is from Electric Journal. Libraries often subscribe to journals available online, so it's worth discovering which one your library provides access to. The next one is Bibliography Database. So display bibliography citation, including author names, article or book titles, publication sources, publication years, volume, and page number. The third one is Full Text Database. This database offers the complete text of article and it's worthwhile to identify which full text databases your library offers. And the last one, abstract database. So abstract databases for me summaries or abstract of article, though they do not provide the full text of the article or manuscript. Okay, next is ethical issue in writing literature of review. The first one is misrepresenting the work of other authors intentionally. So this is including their viewpoints, ideas, models, findings, conclusions, and interpretations. And the second one is plagiarism. So plagiarism is writing a thesis refers to the act of using someone else's word or ideas without giving proper credit or acknowledgement. It is considered an inappropriate practice that it violates the originality and intellectual property rights of the author. So the conclusion from this chapter is literature reviews serve several crucial functions in research and feathers. Firstly, it positions the research within the existing body of knowledge, ensuring it builds upon career work. Secondly, it synthesizes relevant information, ideas, and data to inform the research direction. However, when conducting a literature review, researcher must be wary of ethical consideration, particularly misrepresenting the work of others and avoiding plagiarism. To fulfill this objective effectively, researchers need to carefully select and evaluate relevant materials, document their literature review truly, and aware to ethical standards. By doing so, researchers contribute to the integrity and credibility of academic research. Yeah, so that's it from our group. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.